Um, this guy was pretty much the king of the school when I showed up. And I actually found out from my mom that uh, Barbara made Nathan play with me because I was the new kid. <laughs> <laughs> That probably explains why he was kind of mean for the first couple of years we knew each other. Um, it started off like fourth grade, we were playing PE, and um, for whatever reason the teacher thought this guy was pretty much the greatest person to ever enter fourth grade. So he was refereeing the game that the rest of us were playing. Um, first play, me being the player that I am, caught a long touchdown pass. Somebody pulled my flag, but I was over the end zone line, so clearly it was a touchdown. This guy thought differently. Which I assume he's a little threatened. Somebody's catching touchdown passes on their first play. You can't be having that. Um, so we started out a little rocky. We got to be a little better friends going on, and then I started to meet his family. Um, Bart, a wonderful person. Michelle, always been so kind to me. Um, John. <laughs> this guy was my dentist for the first couple years of my life, or the first couple years I lived in El Dorado, um, and he found out that I was a Dodgers fan. So, with the drill over top of me, you know, and, and this probably explains why I have a fear of the dentist now. Um, with the drill over top of me would make me say, you know, like, Barry Barnes is the greatest player in the league. <laughs> I will never forget that. And I've probably not been to the dentist in too long a time. <laughs> um, now, here's some helpful hints, because I lived with Nathan for three years in an intimate setting, one room, in a dorm with PUC, which makes me the foremost authority on living with Nathan. <laughs> Tip number one. If you run out of shampoo, this dude always has shampoo. <laughs> Tip number two, have a pre-established order of who turns out the lights before you go to bed. <laughs> One night, there was this, a very close call. Again, him being the referee, probably making the wrong call here, on who got in bed last. <laughs> so we had a long argument. No, you're going to get out of bed to turn off the lights. No, you're going to get out of bed to turn off the lights. I kid you not... We slept the entire night with the lights on. <laughs> Tip number three. We played a prank on that guy in the glasses down there. And I'm sure it was a harmless, kind, you know, not too serious prank. He took it overboard when he came back. And I'm just going to get that out there right now. He and another friend unleashed about 300 crickets in our room. <laughs> Nathan and I spent the next two weeks hunting, killing, and eradicating the crickets from our room. <laughs> the tip for that is, this one's a little nicer. The tip for that is, when stuff goes bad, this guy can really help you out in a bad situation. <laughs> um, kind of wrap it up here. Um, when I first met Lori, it was at Yogurt Licious or Ohana or one of those crazy places <laughs> we to go to. Um, and Nathan had been telling me about her for a really long time. He was like, man, I really want you to meet her. And I was a little skeptical, you know, maybe. Um, but I did meet her. She was, the, like, the nicest person ever. And for, we were going to meet up the next day. And so we exchanged cell phone numbers. And I put her name in my cell phone as Lori Adams the first day that I met her. <laughs> So overall, in conclusion, I would just like to say that I called it first. <laughs> and of course, two. Yes. Thank you, buddy. Well done, Thank you. Well done.